LG UX is often criticized for its bloatware, but there are many who swear by it and love the customization options on offer by the Android skin. That said, there's no denying that the skin can, at times, be a little confusing. That, however, is exactly why I've put together this guide. Here are some tips and tricks on using LG UX, LG's Android skin. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. There are a number of things that you can do to tweak the LG UX interface to better match your style. For starters, you can change the home screen, icons, and more. To edit the LG UX home screen, hold down on the home screen, after which you'll see a range of options at the bottom of the display. You can add widgets with the home screen button, change the wallpaper, and so on. There are a range of widgets available, including many LG built widgets. That can be handy for seeing information at a glance straight from the home screen. Next up are wallpapers and themes. LG has a number of wallpapers built into its operating system, and you can either select built-in themes or you can download themes from the LG store. The third option allows you to change the style of the icons, while the final option allows you to customize the always-on display. The always-on display is the interface that you'll see when the screen is off. You can pay for third-party options or select from LG's built-in options, and you can tap on the option that you're using to edit it. Things you can edit include the clock style, the size, brightness, and so on. Many modern LG phones offer a dual screen accessory that essentially makes the device a foldable. For some, it's not really all that helpful, while others can get a lot of use out of the accessory. To use the dual screen, you'll start by putting the phone into the accessory, after which you'll be able to independently open up apps and tweak the second display's settings. To tweak the dual screen settings, tap on the small dual screen icon on the side of the display. From there, you'll be able to switch screens, put the second display to sleep, and so on. Certain games support the dual screen too, and if you're using a game that supports it, you'll be able to activate and use the LG gamepad, which offers a gamepad style experience for some games. It's a nice touch. One of the best things about LG's camera is the manual shooting mode, which really unlocks the power of the LG camera. To activate LG's manual shooting mode, slide over to the More section and tap Manual Camera. You'll then see a range of controls on the display for shooting, including controls for focus, a level on the display, aperture controls, and so on. It's a really nice touch, and perhaps one of the most in-depth manual shooting modes of any Android phone. Even if you're not an experienced photographer, it's worth playing around with the manual shooting settings to learn about how to achieve the images that you're looking for. Running out of storage or your phone running slowly? Smart cleaning apps and services are mostly BS, but if your device is running slowly, it may be worth trying LG's built-in smart cleaner to see if it makes much of a difference. In LG UX, you can use the smart cleaning tool by heading to settings, then opening the extensions option. Then tap on the smart cleaning option at the top and tap the optimize phone button. There's no guarantee that this will do much for you, but it may help, and it will likely free up some space on your device. LG devices often come with a ton of bloatware, and a lot of it you can't get rid of. Thankfully, you can get rid of some of the extra apps that come with LG devices. To do so, hold down on the icon of the app you want to remove for a few seconds, and when the screen changes, drag the icon to the delete option. You have to do that for each app you want to remove, and some of the pre-installed apps won't be removable. LG offers a dual apps feature that allows you to use multiple instances of an app on your device. This can come in handy, for example, if you have two accounts on a social media app and don't want to have to log in and out all the time. To use dual apps, open up the settings app, tap extensions, and then tap on the dual app feature. If you have an app that can take advantage of the dual app feature, you can tap the install button next to that app. The copy of the app will be found at the end of your app list, and you'll be able to log into your second account within that copy. Thanks again for watching this video, and again, please subscribe and like the video if the video was helpful to you. My name is Christian, and I'll see you next time. See ya.